Hello everyone, welcome back to the Kerbal Space Program. So, today we're going to be making a tutorial on how to make missiles in Kerbal Space Program stock parts. Now a lot of you guys inquired about this, uh, inquired, uh, because I've been making a lot of, uh, you know, crafts that utilize missiles and bombs and you guys want to know how to make these missiles. Now I did uh, answer some of your questions about these missiles. I gave you a link or how to, you know, I gave you instructions on how to make these. But I think this is the best way to do it, is to make a video. So uh, this very first missile is pretty much the most basic but best design overall for a missile. Um, it goes perfectly straight and you press spacebar, it does everything on its own. Nothing to worry about. Now, with missiles in general, it's good to act, this is just pure advice, it's good to actually place uh, several missiles on whatever design you have. Now, it is good to have, you know, if you have a very small design, then don't have too many missiles, otherwise it might weigh it down. But if you have a big design, then it's good to add more missiles. The reason being is because there's no guarantee that these missiles are going to hit. Now, these designs that I'm presenting to you today, they all go perfectly straight. They don't go off in an angle and everywhere else, they go perfectly straight. Now, it's up to you whether or not these missiles hit the target or not. So given that you aim them correctly, they'll hit the target. Now, uh, this here, what you're looking at is pretty much the second design. Um, it's not the best because there's an issue. With this design, uh, the you know, uh, missile two mark one, I think that's what I called it. Uh, you actually have to throttle up all the way before you decouple this whole missile. In fact, you actually need to activate the engine and then decouple the missile, which is a bit of an issue because you throttle up, you activate the engine, that means the engine is on. And then you decouple it, that it, it can potentially damage your aircraft or whatever. This one here is different. This one, what you're looking at now is different. The, the one before. Um, it's it's a bit of an issue because again if you you know you actually have to throttle up and that's the issue with having engines but if you have separatrons you don't have to throttle up you just spacebar and given that your staging is correct everything will just take care of itself so the second design that I presented to you with these missiles is not the best but it's an example for you guys to utilize if you ever need to to use something like that so the very the designs that I recommend are the first one, the second, uh, the first, third, and this one that I'm making right now is uh, not the best because there's different ways to actually make this missile. So let me explain. Now, when it comes to VAB, it seems as though the placement of separatrons is not the best. Uh, it's preferably good not to have symmetry on for this. So I guess it's good to actually just place one separatron at a time. Uh, but it is a bit of an issue not having symmetry because uh, you don't actually get the, like let's just say you don't have symmetry on. You place a separatron in one spot and you try to place it on the opposite side in the exact, you know, exact opposite side. Uh, you might actually make a mistake by a millimeter or two. And that can be, you know, damaging to the, the missile might not work properly because it will go off on an angle. But if you use symmetry, it ensures that it goes perfectly straight up or down or wherever. It goes perfectly straight. So, I mean, that's what you mostly want. You want it to go straight because if you aim it, you want it to hit. You don't want it to sway off somewhere else. Now, although this missile is probably not the best, it does look pretty cool once you launch it. But again, it is slightly good in one in one way because what it does is it, it propels itself away from your your rocket or aircraft whatever you have it propels itself away from it uh which it actually prevents any damage so in case you know in case you're flying a rocket you don't want the missile to actually damage the rocket once it gets jettisoned so that's you know that's the best thing it's good to use the couplers uh, but there are different methods of placing uh the separatrons onto the coupler and it is you know you can either do it in sph or vab but when it comes to doing all this stuff i prefer vab uh, it's more precise and SPH is slightly, has slightly different mechanics when it comes to placing objects. So what you are seeing now, I believe, is the multi-staged missile. Now this missile is something that you must control. Uh, once, you, once you launch it, 
you need to go and control it. You can't just let it off like that. I mean, you can, but it is, it's made specifically for you to control it. Now, how does this work? Well, you see in a second. Uh, you pretty much hold up to the maximum, you press spacebar, and you want to make sure that that engine is activated, and then you press spacebar again for the decoupler, so the whole thing is then released. It's being propelled, it goes off for a certain distance, right? And then what you need to do is press spacebar again to activate the decoupler, or the, it's, I think it's called the separator, and the separatron. So that's what we're gonna do here. So you throw up to the maximum. It's a bit of an issue having to throw it up to the maximum, as I mentioned, uh, or actually um, activate the engine when it's actually connected to your jet. But that's just an issue with this design. Again, it's your choice on whether or not you want to use this design. So use it at, at your own risk. I've Overall, I've just made all these missiles so that you guys can select the ones that you prefer, uh, you know, whenever you need to use them. So now we are making uh, the jet that will be you know, we'll be using as an experiment to show you guys these missiles in action. Not all these missiles, just a couple. Uh, but it's mostly just to show you how to place these missiles or actually move these missiles from the VAB to the SBH. And this also works vice versa. Um, as well as that, you'll see a few techniques on how to make a, a simple jet. Probably not the best jet. I got a bit lazy with the control surfaces, but uh, yeah, you can fix this design up if you want. Uh, if you guys want me to include this design in the in the video, just just tell me and I'll add it to the description somewhere. Uh, overall, actually, I just want to thank some guy by the name of Aka Sucks. Terrible name. He he sent me an email, uh, pretty much requesting me to make a video. A couple of people requested me, but it was mostly Aka Sucks. He he advised me to make different uh, versions of the missile. I'll spell it up to you guys: A K A S U C K S. <laughs> Aka Sucks. Terrible name. Everyone say hi, Akasucks, in the comments. <laughs> That's just a bad name, Akasucks. Can't get any worse than that, can it? I think it can. <laughs> um, so, of course, on this design, we're just making everything look as pretty as possible. Pretty, yes. That's what we always do, right? We haven't made a jet for quite a while, actually. Now, we've been making a lot of uh, land-based rovers and VTOLs recently. Uh, and as well as that, the cluster bomb is actually doing pretty well. If you guys, you know, the cluster bomb that I made, which is a, a bomb with hundreds and thousands of submunitions inside, it's pretty much a tutorial in itself. I've got, you know, it actually shows you how to make the cluster bomb. I don't explain anything in it, but I don't think I explained anything, did I? No, I did, I did. Yeah, it was commentary. Uh, this is how to actually copy over the missile to the SBH. So this is very important, guys. This is what you need to know. All right, you hold down Alt, and this is what I do. Alt, left click, so you can copy over, and paste it into there. Name it, whatever the hell you want, and then save it. And then go back to the the SPH, and you will see the missile there. Yeah, it's very interesting steps, right? One of the best additions to the game. I only use it, like, very rarely. Uh, so, yep, yeah, loading up the craft, and go to the tab, change the tab, and there it is, the missile that we just added Ah, one of the, it really is a good feature actually, being able to do that. Uh, otherwise, you would struggle. Um, so now I'm I'm terrible at shooting missiles. I'm telling you, I'm really bad. I need practice. So those of you that are good, make a video or something. Show me how good you are. At that only one missile hit missile. See, that's why you should always have several missiles, <laughs> as I advised. But for those of you that are good at uh, shooting missiles, then you probably won't need many missiles. Missiles, missile, missiles. <laughs> Uh, this is another thing. You can actually make a, I call it a decoupler bullet. I made this ages ago when I really, it was a very early stages of this channel. Um, I made, I think, I don't know, I think it was called Separatron Bomb Testing or maybe it was called the Coupler Bullets. I forget, but this was months, months ago. Uh, and this is how it worked. You'll see in a second. Watch this. Press space button. Bang! It gets shot off. It gets shot off. Uh, not the best. It goes straight for a short period of time and then it just, you know, it falls down. It's not like the separatrons that are activated for a bit of time, which is why they go perfectly straight. Uh, so this is again another test trying to trying to use these utilize these missiles, which is not working very well. Uh, keep on missing. This is another bad time actually. And look how many I missed. I missed heaps. I only got those two, which is pretty good. And it turns out the whole jet is an actual missile. I forgot to mention that. <laughs> yeah, you can turn jets into missiles if you're kamikaze style. It's not something to laugh about, but still. 
uh, that's that's always optional. Again, the game is the, the game KSP is still pretty pointless. I'm looking forward to multiplayer. Actually, I'm gonna do a lot of trolling. So yay, look forward to that. Uh, again, miss those missiles. It's terrible. I got those once, and then the next set of missiles, I they sort of fell down a little bit. But anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed. Wow, well, that's just a bad turn. Smash the wing there. I need to fix up this craft. It's not the best. Before I, I, I send it to you guys, I'll fix it. But anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed and see you next time. Akasucks. <laughs>